Well, hello and good evening, my friends, and happy Monday. I hope you're all doing well. It has been quite a while since I last said hi and vlogged and shared my life in my sewing room. At the moment, all is good here. It has been absolutely chucking it down with rain again. I don't know whether you're at all aware of the bad rain and floodings that have been happening in Sydney again. It's like the third or fourth time this year that uh, Sydney and suburbs that are close to us that have been severely affected by flooding. And if you listen really, really hard, it's actually raining at the moment. The rain just hasn't stopped for the last two, two and a half days. Maybe, I think. It's just so wet and yeah, there's just nowhere for the water to go. So everything's flooding, but we're okay here. I'm lucky that where I live, we are in a built up suburb. We're high ground. We won't be affected by flooding or anything like that. Although a backyard is a lake and <laughs> our swimming pool, which has just been very recently uh, redone. Our old pool that was there actually uh, collapsed and sort of like broke because of the amount of water that was in it from our last big sort of like deluge of rain and in the last week or so we had it replaced and a new pool put in and now that's like almost overflowing it's so full of water but yeah fun times with the weather at the moment and uh, let's just hope this is the end of it. A lot of the uh, communities and towns and suburbs that have been hit by flooding again, they're really doing it hard. So let's just hope that this is going to be the last one for a very, very long time. But anyway, on to more happier news. There's lots for me to share. So I am predicting that this vlog is going to be a really chatty one. It's also going to be a long one as well because I'll possibly vlog a few things during the week as well. So get yourself comfortable. Get yourself a cup of tea, maybe a little bit of a snack, get yourself comfy on the lounge or wherever you like to watch my vlogs and just get ready to just chill out and watch whatever it is I show you, <laughs> I guess. First of all, we're going to do something that I haven't done in a very long time and that is a haul. We have a little bit of a spotlight haul, a little bit of a craft and quilt show haul because this weekend I went with my beautiful friend Jess that I used to work with. We went to the craft and quilt show, or is it the fair? Oh, it's this big sort of craft quilt show that uh, happens in Sydney every year. So we went to that on Saturday and I picked up some lovely little bits and pieces that I will show you along with a couple of different little projects that I've been doing over the last couple of weeks uh, during the time that I haven't been vlogging. So there's lots to chat about. So as I said, get comfy and Let's get into it. Let's go through the lovely things that I got at the quilt show because I am absolutely obsessed with them and I just am so excited to share them with you. So I actually didn't vlog anything from the quilt show. I just sort of went and enjoyed the day with Jess. I hadn't seen Jess for over 12 months so it was really nice just to spend a day with her and catch up with what's happening in each other's lives and and to really um explore and enjoy uh spending the day at the craft show together and to be honest it was actually a little bit smaller than what it usually is there's usually lots of quilts on display there were a couple of like stalls and businesses that weren't there that usually are there that i was looking forward to seeing so it was a little disappointing that it was a slightly smaller than what the show usually is but it's not surprising because this is the first show back after like all of the big COVID restrictions and stuff. It's understandable that it was a smaller show than usual. But uh, yeah, it would be nice to have seen a few more quilts on show. I mean, there was still quite a lot there, but not as much as usual. But anyway, I'm going to stop faffing on and show you what I got. So the first thing I picked up was a 12 pack of embroidery threads. These are 40 weight to ply multi-filament yarn. They're 100% polyester and it's just a selection of really bright vivid colours and I got this from 
a little vendor called Sweet Pea. And they're a little shop that just does a whole bunch of embroidery and bag accessories and stuff like that. And so this set was usually $82 and I picked it up for $32, which I thought was a really great bargain. So I'm excited to break out the embroidery machine and find a design that will um, allow me to give these a go. I then picked up a couple of little packs of Liberty fabrics. Both of these have eight 1 and 32 ends. They're 6 by 10 inch sort of strip of Liberty prints. And I picked these up because I thought they would look great as hexies because I'm currently absolutely obsessed with making hexies. I'll chat about that a little bit later. And yeah, I just really wanted to pick up some new fabric just to make some fresh, fun hexies because I'm sort of sick of just using the same fabrics over and over again. And you all know how much I love Liberty, how much I love their fabrics. So I thought they're perfect to make hexies with and to just freshen up my hexie box and make some different new fun little hexi flowers and then at the same stall which was a stall called sewn and quilted i picked up these really cool pins these are pin points by jody at rick rack i bought a couple of her quilting pins before via her etsy stall and i've seen these before and i'm like oh, i really want them and i didn't get them i found them there at this stall and i'm like i'm gonna get them so <laughs> So the first one is this one. It's a really cool little hexy flower and you know I love hexies. I saw a comment the other day someone calling me the hexy queen. Um, so I mean I'm happy with that uh, with that title. So I thought I'd get this one because I love making hexy flowers. And then this one is this little heart that says quilt with a rotary blade and you know quilting has my heart so perfect and then my last little purchase from the quilt show was just this random tin and it just says so lovely with a sewing machine on it it's just a tiny little tin I don't know what I'm gonna use it for it's got a maker's mark here oh it's by Moda I didn't know that paper and cloth by Moda there we go I didn't know that was a Moda tin because it had the label covering it so that's cool there's no need to put it back there. let's open it oh gosh if I can and see ooh, that's a beautiful green holy moly nice so who knows what I can use that for let me know in the comments what you would use this little tin for when I said that to Jess she suggested I should use it for pins which is not a bad idea so that is everything I got from the show and I'm very happy with those purchases and now that I've shown you in a haul I can now use them which is very exciting so next I'm going to show you what I got from spotlight I have been needing to do a spotlight shop a very long time because I've been running out of things and I've been putting off projects because I've run out of supplies um the first one was white homespun for my little swoon blocks here well i say little they're actually not little blocks at all but for my swoon blocks i've been using white homespun for the background and i ran out i mean <laughs> what quilter runs out of white homespun uh me so i've just been dragging my feet to buy some more and i finally got some more white homespun i got three meters of the white homespun that spotlight sells and so now i can make my last two swoon blocks and then i can start piecing that quilt together and that is just such an exciting thought because i love a good swoon quilt another thing that i ran out of and so therefore couldn't continue on with it was i needed to get some more embroidery thread purple thread to finish my lovely royal jubilee crown embroidery that i started in celebration of queen's jubilee all the way back at the start of june which is crazy i think the last time that i shared this with you i had done like a feather stitch in the center i didn't like it so i unpicked it all and then i drew in just some lines to give it a little bit of texture so I'm doing some cross hatching in the center and then in the background I'm just doing some vertical lines. Vertical or horizontal? Vertical. Vertical. <laughs> horizontal is horizon. So of course I naturally ran out of both colors and it just took me forever to find the colors and so I finally got them. Yay! So now I can continue on with this and hopefully finish it. And then there's also a huge sale on 
patterns so I got myself some patterns and I thought I'd show you which ones I got I'm hoping that I can maybe somehow make some of them I mean like it's all a dream but hopefully I can actually find time to do it first one I will show you is one that it's very very sweet and so so cute so I'll start with this one it's a Star Wars Mandalorian pattern and it is of uh, Grogu or the child, or the baby, or baby Yoda, whichever name you want to use. But it's just a cute little plush that you can make just out of polar fleece. So you can either make uh, a bigger version, or you make a smaller version with its little pram thing. I don't know if I'm going to actually make this, but I thought I'd put it with my little collection of Disney patterns, and uh, yeah, see if I make it sometime in the future. The next one is a jacket. It's just a really basic jacket by New Look. The style of the jacket is pretty much exactly the same. You could just either make it really long or really short or with a hood or without a hood. It just really depends on what sort of style you want. And yeah, I just really like just how casual and uh, just simple it is. It looks relatively simple to make. For those of you who are interested in like pattern numbers and things, I will put them all in the description box so you can scroll down and have a look and see the pattern that you like and and see if you want it. Uh, next one is McCall's. This one is just a really basic skirt. You can either have it really short, you can have it as like a midi length or like a long length, kind of down to the ankle. And it's just like a pleated skirt at the top. It doesn't have pockets, I don't think, which is a bit of a shame because your clothes need to have pockets in them. Speaking of pockets, I got two Vogue patterns and both of these dresses have pockets, which is the reason why I chose them. This one here, it says that it's very easy, so oh, fingers crossed. This one, again, you can have the choice of either being it short with a short sleeve or one with a long sleeve and a little bit longer, or you can swap it however you want. The thing that I like about these dresses is one, it does have pockets, and two, it is waist fitted and then it flares out and for my body shape that works the best I feel and then the other Vogue pattern is this really nice lovely loose fitted jobby again it has pockets I like that it's nice and loose at the top sleeves look nice and loose and also nice and loose around the waist with a really nice fall I hope that I get time to make this one for summer because I think that one will be really nice for the summer that is coming soon hopefully maybe it kind of feels like summer's never gonna come it's gonna be cold and rainy forever but yes but that is the end to my very chatty haul I'm really excited to bust into my Liberty fabrics I didn't give you a close-up did I I don't know what the ranges are or anything like that I just picked it for the colors and the prints and look look at this one on the back oh that's gorgeous like I said I picked these up because I want to make them into hexes so I've been making hexes and absolutely loving it and I'm on my way to making another hexy flower quilt so one day last week I spent some time making up some hexy flower blocks I kid you not this is maybe half of the stash of hexy flowers that I've made so far and uh, yeah, there's still so much more to go. It's going to be a big quilt. But yeah, I spent some time sewing on the hexi flowers onto some fabrics and I'm oh, just loving it. They're so cool. All of them are just so pretty. I love this one with Darth Vader in the middle. I love the juxtaposition of evil Darth Vader surrounded by flowers and pretty things. It's just just doesn't make sense but it just looks great but yeah that's one thing that I've been um, occupying myself with and just loving it just loving the simplicity of, of basing them together and then basing them onto some fabric and then sewing around the edge it's the simple things the simple things well good afternoon my friends and happy Thursday I thought this afternoon I would do a little bit of sewing I going to get into making another sewing block. I have two more to go. I think I mentioned that the other day. So this afternoon I'm going to spend some time getting all the pieces cut for that and then try and get at least the Hosker triangles done and yeah a block will be on the way. So the next one I've decided to do is with this fabric. It's a really fun little mustardy number. And this one has, if you can see, this one has like metallic, I think it's a spider, 
yeah. And so because it's got that little grey detail on it, I'm going to pair it with a really nice light grey solid and then the white background. So I think this one will look really cool. So before I get cutting, I'm going to fire up the iron and uh, give these fabrics a nice a lovely press so that they are nice and crisp and ready for cutting. Good afternoon my friends and happy Saturday. It's the something or other of July and I hope you're all doing well. Today is Saturday, as I've just said. It is the weekend and today I just wanted to have a nice, lovely sewing day. You know, just one of those days where I just completely immerse myself in sewing and just, just sew, you know, just enjoy sewing. So... That's what I'm going to do. Since I last left you, I started a swoon with a grey and a mustardy type vibe. I finished that the other day and I'm now moving on to my last swoon, which is bright and vibrant and intense and super, super fun. So I will show you uh, what they look like. Here is the lovely swoon that I started the other day and that's how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. It looks really cool. I like the the difference in the, the like the big bright bold mustardy fabric and then the nice lovely sort of mellow grey. I just think it's turned out really really well. And then in complete contrast this is the last swoon block we're making and I'm doing it with this wonderfully bright pink floral which I think is just so divine and I've matched it with this really bright orange. It actually looks brighter on the camera than in real life but it's a real sort of like wow in your face kind of orange so far I've done all of the hot square triangles I just have to trim them down I'm about ready to do the flying geese sections so these sections here and then once all of that sort of faffy kind of piecing is done then I'll be able to sort of construct the block and then have my last swim block done. I'm going to put it out there. The goal for today is to actually have this quilt top finished. Maybe. I don't know. It would be really nice to get this block finished which I definitely will and then to be able to piece it all together and have a quilt top ready to be basted and quilted. I'm going to be completely honest, I have been so lazy when it's come to basting quilts recently. I think I have maybe two or three plus this one once it's done, four quilt tops that need to be basted and quilted and I just can't be bothered because I hate basting. Although I now can sort of do it on my table here in my sewing room, I just it's just still a job that I hate. It's just the one part of quilt making that I just don't like. And it just takes a lot of like mental, like just do it kind of thing to do it. So that's the hurdle that I need to get over and just do it because I have so many lovely quilt tops that are just sitting there and just ready for me to, to come and rescue them and, and make them into beautiful quilts. So that's something I need to work on because I, I haven't made a quilt this year, I don't think. I don't think I have. I don't remember finishing a quilt this year. I don't think I have. Oh my gosh, it's July and I haven't even finished a quilt yet crazy but anyway i'm gonna do my usual thing get some lovely music flowing in my airpods and just sort of immerse myself in this lovely world that i love um and just so okay fast forward a couple of hours and i've just finished making my last swoon block and i have to say i really enjoyed it i really took my time was really quite conscious of what i was doing and I enjoyed every single last little step. So, would you like to see my last little swoon? Like magic, she's done. Ta -da! 
Wow, isn't she pretty? She's so vibrant and lovely, I love it. Happy days. Right, so as far as I know, all nine blocks are finished. I better just count just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure they're all finished because I don't have any fabric left. So I have four beautiful spoons on the wall. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one should be the typewriters. It is nine. Um, oh, I'm hooked. Oh no. I don't think I need to give them a press. I think they're all kind of okay. So I'm going to take the ones on the wall, off the wall. <laughs> My design wall is going to look so empty now. I'm so sad. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to be popping them into a lovely quilt top. So let's take them down and we will start organising how these blocks are going to work together. Well, good afternoon, my friends, and happy Sunday. I hope you're all doing well. It is a cold, windy day today, but we are back in the sewing room, and I am picking back off where I left off yesterday. Did that make sense? I don't know. But yesterday, I managed to finish up my swim blocks. I managed to figure out the block layout for the quilt top. And I have it all here on the ironing board, ready to stitch up. I do want to try and get the quilt top finished yesterday, but it was just all becoming a little bit late in the day and, you know, dinner had to get made and all that sort of stuff. So, um, it just didn't happen. So today I'm going to try my best to get the quilt top finished. I only have to sew nine big giant blocks together, so it shouldn't take that long. Although, I did notice when I was laying all of the blocks out yesterday, some of them need to be squared up a bit. That's one thing I didn't do once the blocks were finished. I didn't square them up, so a lot of them have like raggedy, uneven edges and stuff. And uh, I like to think that I'm, I'm quite like perfectionist when it comes to sewing. I like sewing with straight, clean edges. Everything needs to be nice and flat and, you know, all looking good. So as I go, I'm just going to make sure that the edges are nice and straight and trim because then that way all of my blocks will nest hopefully neatly together and look nice and crisp and lovely. But at the same time, if they don't nest and they don't match up, it's not a big deal. It's not big thing it is what it is so with that all said i'm going to get going and get this quilt top finished how exciting at the moment that's possibly as far as it's going to go because i've just realized i don't have any I, at least i don't think i do any big pieces of batting left in my stash for like the last two three years maybe i've been working off a big roll of batting that I got when I was working at Spotlight and unfortunately I came to the end. The last bit of that big huge roll of batting that I had went up on the wall here. It became my new design wall. So I think I need to save up some money and invest in a new bulk roll of batting or wadding or whatever you want to call it. Spotlight usually do pretty good deals but I don't know whether they have anything on sale at the moment. I'll have to have a look. And I also need to start thinking about a backing fabric. And I haven't even thought about that yet. So that's another thing that I need to try and think about. Try and find in my stash if I have something big enough for this quilt. If not, again, it will have to be something that I will need to look for and purchase. I'm not complaining because I love looking and buying fabric. So, you know. Could be a good thing. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop faffing, stop procrastinating, stop chatting, which is very unlike me. I don't talk very much at all. <laughs> I'm a very quiet person. I am going to get sewing and get this quilt top finished and it's going to look beautiful. I just know it. Happy days. <laughs> Thank you. 
say ta-da ta-da there it is all pieced together this is like the biggest spot in our house that I can hang this up and show you like the proper like size of it it's just hanging on the hutch in our kitchen and I've had to move the table out the way because it's big and I love it now if I had actually pieced it like the pattern had told me to it would have been bigger I didn't realize that you actually have to sash the blocks together and then put like a border on it. I only realized like halfway through so I decided not to do that obviously but I'm really happy with the layout. I tried to like balance out the darker colors, the purples and then some of the prints that are the same but yeah I really like it. Happy days. All right well I'm going to declare that as a successful Sunday and also a very successful weekend. I'm so happy that that quilt top is finally finished. I absolutely love the swim block and I could definitely make quilt after quilt after quilt of all the different ways you can make the swim block. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way that it's turned out. Now who knows how long it will actually take me to baste it and then quilt it and finish it. I don't know. It's open-ended. We'll see how the year goes. <laughs> don't be surprised if it isn't finished by the end of the year. Yeah, I'm not putting the pressure on, <laughs> but yeah. I love that quilt and it's going to look really great. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you very much for making it all the way to the end. I know it's been a long one. It's been a very overdue vlog. So thank you for being patient with me and for sticking it out to the end. Gold star to you. High five. Big hug. Big kiss. COVID safely, of course. Um, but yeah, just thank you for sticking around and watching the vlog and being supportive and wonderful as you always are. I will try my very best not to leave the next vlog so long as I did with the previous one. There's still lots to do, lots to sew, lots to get into and to share with you. So I hope you all are having a lovely weekend and I'll see you all again very, very soon, I promise. Bye-bye. Before I go, I'm actually going to leave you with some footage that I took a couple of weeks ago. My parents and I went and visited the New Sydney Zoo and so I filmed some animals and fun things. So I'm going to leave that footage with you and I hope you enjoy it. So I'll see you very soon. Bye.